when I bought this car three months ago, I screwed up. We're getting rid of it. And here's why. Finally got some good weather. Past couple weeks it's been snowing, raining, cold, just miserable. Unable to make content. But today, bringing you something a little bitter sweet. We're on our way to the alignment shop because over the past couple days I've been at war in the garage putting this brand new S650 that we bought uh, really about three months ago back to stock completely because we're getting rid of it. And before you guys kill me in the comments, you're welcome to do so. Just remember you're watching a free YouTube videos, but hear me out. When I bought this car three months ago, I screwed up. I screwed up. And here's why. It's really gonna come down to money. A little rip here. Feels good. These things are stout. These S650s are really, really good. If you haven't driven one yet, I encourage you just go, go check them out. Take one for a spin. I think the manual is what you should buy because yeah. It's really good this time. A few months ago, I bought this uh, October 2nd, and I missed, and I didn't know this at the time, it's you never know what Ford Credit and some of these other banks are gonna do. In this day and age, you know, everything is inflated, but sometimes incentivized rates and some of those other special programs, rebates and everything else uh, happen. So when I bought this car a few months ago, hear me out, because this is gonna shock you. Tier one credit, I still walked away with 10% interest. No! It's something I like really never, never, never do. And I encourage you guys not to do that either because when you make your payment, so for the example, this one is like 804, almost two thirds of that was going towards interest. I mean, you're just paying the bank, you're not paying for the car. So there's things that you can do to combat that, make principal payments and stuff like that, in addition to your regular to pay it down, or just don't take a high interest rate loan. Oh, and here's the icing of the cake, kind of, in a sour way. The next day, less than 24 hours, Ford released incentivized rates. I even went back to the uh, dealership and I was like, hey man, can we fix this? It's been like under a day and he, they weren't gonna do it, they, would, they refused. So I loved the car and I was okay paying for it, but it's, it's always kind of left me kind of sick in my stomach, you know? We're paying so much money to enjoy the cars that we, we have and love. Yeah, you can refinance, you can do other things like that. Maybe you have a credit union, whatever. But guys, I love to deal with Ford Credit, even if I pay a little bit more, just because they always finance me, they take care of me, and um, anyway, so I have a good relationship with Ford Credit. But you gotta hurry, because the rates might actually go away. Ford has come out with incentivized rates on pretty much everything that they're selling, including the Mustang, at least until, you know, the third of February. So we shall see, and things might get better, they might get worse, you never know. That's always the trick, that's always the gamble. But um, I've made a decision to buy a different Mustang with a better interest rate. We're gonna introduce it in just a couple of minutes. I think you're gonna really like it. I think that the car suits me better for actually what we're trying to build the car for. I've already transferred all of my new parts onto the new car. At the end of the day, I'm gonna be paying less money and I slice my interest 
more than in half. I'm, you do the math, in the past three months, I've paid more than $2,000 in interest alone, I think, or somewhere around there. And I've made a little money off of YouTube making content with the car, which is fine. It kind of cancels it out. You know, everything, if you guys don't understand, this is all like a tax write-off anyway. But, you know, it still leaves me sick to my stomach that we're just hemorrhaging money for, you know, a car that we like to love and live with and everything. So you figure if you slice that interest rate in half or better, so you'll make up that money. Get this one aligned, we're gonna drop it off and say goodbye officially, and then I'm gonna show you the new car, and I think that you're gonna really like it. Kind of a throwback to 2019, kind of a hint for you guys anyway, um, but you're gonna see it in just a couple of seconds in the video. So uh, what about trade value? So I did have some equity going into this car uh, when I bought it and I had X-Plan and stuff like that. There weren't any other rebates. I didn't have any other private cash, not really. So, um, I, but I was still in a really like tremendous amount of equity when I bought this car. And thankfully, I'm not losing any of that. I've lost about $2,000 doing the trade because I have still have X-Plan and I've got other private cash and some other stuff that's been able to kind of offset that. So we're gonna have more going towards the car instead of interest and I'll be able to make up what I've lost over the next few months anyway and just be ahead because we all know that you know every couple of years or so we like to trade around and this is the beginning of the S650 platform, 2024. So what is gonna be in store? What is Ford going to have to offer in the next couple of years? We all know that we think that a new Cobra Shelby GT500 is coming out. I expect to see like a Boss variant. Um, we're gonna have other things, maybe a PP2 or some other specialty models. There's a California special coming out, we know that. Um, so lots of other cool cars coming out and I wanna be able to be in a good financial position if I decide to jump to the next model, um, then this will set me up for success later on. But I digress, guys. Let's get this thing aligned. I'm gonna drop it off, and we're gonna drop it off at the dealership, officially say goodbye. And I know that I've been talking a lot, but this is just kind of the method to my madness, and hopefully you agree um, that it's probably the better financially smart decision that, uh, you know, I mean, who doesn't want to save money? You know, we love these cars. I like saving you guys money. We have discount codes for products down below. I like doing that, you know, but I like saving money myself, and uh, this is another way to do that. So, all right, guys, here we are at the dealership to say goodbye to my white 2024 Mustang GT Performance Package in lieu of what we have bought. You're going to see in just a moment, but still a walk around back to factory, everything. Nothing was left on this car that we've bought, so it's all transferred over to the new one. It's already set up, ready to go, and it looks really good, but this has been a good car. Uh, 3,600 miles of ownership, and I've loved every single mile of it, but of course it's filthy. We've had all the snow and rain and everything else, but anyway, this is it. Back to stock, saying goodbye to our white 24 but let's get to the new one that we bought. Again, interest rates were better. They're running specials right now with Ford and we didn't lose a lot for the trade like we talked about in the video. Um, so it just works out to uh, basically similar, similar spec car. There's a couple of things that are different on the new one I got that I think is an improvement and the payments on the new one went down. So all good things. Real quick too, for anybody that's interested in white, what well, red Carmine interior, looks like on the 2024 looks good i've loved it every mile but this is it 401a red carmine interior performance package active exhaust it's been a good car all right guys here we go enough delay in the video time to show you our replacement s650 still with the mustang it is beautiful i love this thing to death it suits me a little bit better i think but let's turn the camera show you what we got let's go
Back to race red, Mustang GT performance package still. This is a 400A. Now we have carried over the suspension, everything from the white car, all the Steeda goodies underneath, the dual rate springs, adjustable dampeners, the lockout kit, all that stuff. Again, discount codes for parts down below. You guys are sleeping on those codes. If you're not checking them out, save some money, go check it out. But I digress, guys, back to the car. So very, very happy with this. We're gonna be saving money every month and over the lifetime of the loan. Right now, Ford's got special rates on Mustangs, so if you're looking for an S650 or maybe a truck or something like that, incentivized rates right now, so jump on it because those deals may not last. But let's take a closer look here. Love, love race red. This thing looks so, so good. The stance with the Steeda springs and suspension is absolutely Perfect. So it's tough to find these out in the wild, at least where I live, performance packages, because I wanted to have that again. This is still a manual, just like the white car. But the only issue is that this one does not, as you can see, have active exhaust. We're going to remedy this. So this whole valance back here is already ordered, and we're gonna carry over my quad tip Corsa I put it on this car and figure out how to make everything work. We're gonna be addressing that, hopefully, uh, within the next few days, because this thing is super quiet. Yeah, active exhaust, at least from the factory, is definitely worth it. But my understanding is this was a soldier that ordered this and he PCS so we didn't take the car, but he wanted to be under a certain value um, or price whenever he ordered this car. It was a green label order. He wanted race red performance package, 400A. So we get the leather interior, let me show you. So everything is pretty much similar to a 401A, minus these door sills right here don't light up. Who cares? Because when you're driving, the door's closed anyway. I really don't care. Got the big screen, and then we do have Recaro seats. I love these seats. These things are really snug, especially tied with the new suspension that we've got here. It's like driving a roller coaster, man. It's insane. Hey, it does not have the Ford Copilot 360 or whatever it is. So basically adaptive cruise control and I'm completely okay with that because I never used it anyway. But yeah, a little bit cheaper on the note every month and over the lifetime of the loan, we're gonna be saving that money, which we can put towards more mods. And again, you know, I wanted a manual. So when we were on the hunt for trading the other car in, um, a little backstory is we're actually looking for a better deal for my wife, and we're still on the hunt for that, but this one was on the lot. There's Mustangs everywhere. You can go, there's tons of dealerships everywhere that have Mustangs, but getting a performance package, at least around where I live, is kind of tough, you know, especially within a certain price range, this, that, and the other. I didn't really care what the price was, but this one happened to kind of you know, be there. It's um, a green level order. Uh, the guy didn't take delivery and I was like, well, you know what? Let's run numbers on it and see what it looks like. And then when everything came back, I was like, yeah, this seems like a sensible deal. And I really like the fact that it does have Recaro's. It's still a manual transmission and it has a performance package. And I like the fact that it's not a Magnaride. I love Magnaride, but I already had the suspension from the other one that we put in. So everything transferred over. So it was really easy. I just went strut for strut. Didn't have to really disassemble a whole lot. It's really simple. Other than that, the active exhaust this one doesn't have it, that's kind of a problem, but we've ordered, again, that rear valance in the back for the quad tips, and I'm gonna make that system works because it's amazing. The new course of setup on these S650 Mustangs sound so insane. All right, guys, but that's it. This is the new car i'm happy i'm sold on this car love the red i really like the white i had two of them in a row but we're back to red i really am digging it especially with these graphite colored performance package wheels man they look good <laughs> kind of speechless so need to get some window tint on it coming soon we're going to continue modding the car just continuing the story that we were doing with the other one we're just basically flopping colors here and a little bit better on payment so appreciate all you guys watching hopefully you understand why the other white car had to go and this one is here to replace it let the story continue but until next video, get ready because we're going to try to figure out this back exhaust. I'm not really sure if we're going to get it uh, figured out or not because, um, yeah. Anyway, I've never had to deal with that situation before, but we will give it a junior varsity try. So, anyway, God bless all of you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully you like the car. I certainly do. And until next time, goodbye.